when God does something, he does it by seven. For example, back in Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 2 there, in six days the Lord God made heaven and earth and rested on the seventh day. So God made the heaven and earth in the six days, and then the rest of the seventh day he rested and stopped on the seventh day. A uh, seventh day Adventists say, well, that's true, so uh, you should rest on the seventh day, and since the seventh day is Saturday, well, then you ought to, you know, rest on Saturday instead of Sunday. Uh, that's because they don't really know much about the Bible. Nobody till Exodus chapter 20 knew what the Sabbath was. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said, Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which ye will bake today, and seethe that ye will seethe, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. And the king of Egypt said unto them, Wherefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works? Get you unto your burden. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many, and ye make them rest from their burden. We didn't get this first day of the week stuff from the Catholic Church. We didn't get from the Son of God, we got from the New Testament. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God.